Let's go take you out for a dinner and a movie. I spent seventy dollars at the movies. The movies alone. The movies alone in yeah. this economy. Yeah. For what? For what? Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast, you scallywags. How you doing? I am Spencer Cardia. I'm a mild flower. A mild flower. Is that like a wildflower with the W upside down? Yeah, we're more mild. Oh, and this here is Frank giving, it's giving M&M. How about that? Looks too cheerful. What? It looks too cheerful for M&M. Oh, I'm just thinking, I always imagine the white hat, white zip up, zip up open. Yeah. Hoodie up. And it's a little discombobulated also. Which... Just like M&M. <laughs> How's he doing? He's counting money, I guess. Yeah, you think? Yeah. You think he? You think he's counting money? Yeah, I do. Do you think he is? <laughs> yes. No. What I mean is, like, he grew up poor. Poor people never, never take um, it, take it. He's never like fifty it for, now. Right. He's living. He's lived most of his life a rich man. It doesn't matter. The the formative years, he was so poor. He wasn't even just regularly poor. Yeah. And he won't take that for granted. And I have a feeling that he even have has his hands in more pots than we know. Um, oh, I'm sure. So if you look up his net worth net worth they're not even going to know that what he's part of the hilton chain or something like that you know yeah um what was i gonna say about him what's up with his love life he never had one right no yeah well, you know he's had a few spats has he spits and spill you know like the mariah carey and stuff where oh, boy. back in the day but i'm saying like he's never been with anyone nope. did kim mess him up that bad i wonder do you wonder do you think that's part of it like Part of the counting money and being poor is it like he's never wants to go back to anything of the life before. Okay. Do you think? Hear me out now. Okay. Where Kim, I can only speak from his perspective, <laughs> but what was toxic? Um, you know, like a drug abuser, manipulator, all all those negative things. He got clean from drugs. Do you think he sees that as one of his drugs that he's clean from? Women or his ex-wife? Women, like like that, like women. like maybe like, I'm not saying he th- like all women are bad, but is it just like the same way a normal person can have a drink? And he's like, I know myself, and I get caught in becoming a drug addict. Well, I don't know because I would had to have seen that he was caught in more than just the one relationship for me to feel that way about him. Okay, this is how I'm gonna. But I'm saying he also had like the mother relationship. Well, that's what I was just gonna say. Okay, so. I think naturally he's he's going to be a pretty non um, relationship person. Yeah. So say he was just brought up in a more average household of two parents, um, in you know just anywhere America, with not much trauma. I don't think he would have been a big relationship person. Yeah. He just wanted to be into his music and his art and his, and his this and his that. Right. Yeah. I think that's his default. Okay. Setting. Um, I think the way he was brought up, I think he went into a relationship because it seemed like the thing to do. Yeah. It was, so, so yeah. So the first relationship he saw, which you're correct, is his mother. And it was tragic, you know, yeah. the way she was. Then he falls into this relationship, not because he was looking for love, but because like, that's what you do on in that neighborhood at that time, at that age. Um, It falls into very, you know. Kids are involved and stuff. Yeah. Kid. Very toxic. I, so I don't so much think that she ruined him. I think once he detangled himself from both women and and the whole scene, he had no motivation to go back into it. Not because they ruined him, but because it was never really him to begin with. Uh, That's just my thought. I don't know. Yeah. Well, hi. <laughs> and also you have to think, right? Like a lot of people, like I Eminem, mean, he's, he's a good guy. Yeah. All right. Marshall. Don't know him, but good guy. Terrible family life growing up. Yes. And I think a lot of times what happens when you have a terrible family life, you're saying, not again. I'm going to end this cycle. Right. <clears throat> and so to be with someone where it's like, I'm doing it again. We're doing it again. You know, like. Yeah. And so is it now like, I don't even think like I have my daughter, my pride and joy. <clears throat> right. W- women I'm not that interested in. I want to. But I don't s- think it's because of that. 
because there's many, let many, me have my thought. There's many, many people who came from a very um, dysfunctional childhood re- watching uh, a parental relationship and then they got into bad relationships. Many of them say what you just said. I want it to end with me. And they get in a really good relationship after that. Or they, yeah. they seek it out to create it. And, and you know, he would have given Haley a, a wonderful stepmom. And you never saw. So you're saying he's 50. Yeah. And that happened when he was 20. If he, I don't know how old he was. But I mean, 20. we have 30 years and he's under scrutiny. He's a celebrity. And we haven't seen attempts at relationships. To me, it looks like he was just like, these were childhood things and I've put them away. Yeah. And I don't need it. I don't need it. Because he could have any uh, yeah, anybody. But, I mean, he has he has access to, to anybody. the world. And he has, you know, connections. And, yeah. and he, um, yeah, people could turn him down. But, yeah, basically, it's like, you know, uh, way more than a regular person. And yet he hasn't acted on it. As far as I know, he could have a secret. Well, I, I, then my final thing is he's very private in very every private. aspect Very private. Maybe the person's life. secret. So maybe he's on his third long-term girlfriend who he's been with for 10 years it's hard Nobody to keep a know. secret though from know. paparazzi when, when, it's when you, very when you have, hard when you have the compounds that he has have you ever seen his compound but even if you have even if you have the slightest connection to somebody you have to watch if it ever goes south so you're saying like if loose you're, lips sink ships they will go straight like look what's happening to ricky martin right now i don't even know who that is uh, oh uh, live and live in la vida loca yeah. Yeah. Him. Living la vida loca. Yeah. He was he was a famous child uh, singer. Da, 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 da. Like that one? Yeah. Uh. Puerto Rican, I think. He was a famous child uh. singer in the group Menudo, which I talked to you about before. It was like the original boy band, but it was Spanish and they would replace the yeah. singers. Yeah. You get too old, aged out. Yeah. And then he became his own he's a, he's a solo star. Um he is Hispanic, but you know he sings regular stuff and he's very handsome. Um he's also openly uh, gay. He has, I think, a famous husband. He, they've, they've, they have a few children together. Um, his nephew has come out, twenty-one-year-old nephew, making, um, a, I think he got he got a restraining order against Ricky, saying he's he's love stalking me. What does that mean? He's in love with me and he's stalking me. Ricky is stalking his nephew, supposedly. And so the the headlines are going across the world saying that Puerto Rico, I believe is charging him with um incestuous crimes. Oh, so there's so there's merit to the Maybe claims. not. So I'm not going to say there's merit because they are headlines. And this is what I'm saying for for even if um Eminem tried to keep things quiet, you know, all you had to have was this one 21-year-old relative of Ricky Martin to make a claim, right? He made the claim who knows what what the proof was or whatever. And, and I'm not against Ricky. I'm not for Ricky. I don't know the story more than the headline. And I have learned at this point that headlines are made to be headlines, to be clickbait, to be, you know, attention grabbing. Yeah. And so um, I hope it's resolved. But as we all know, that you only need one person to say something. That's why John, uh, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard went to court. You just need one person to say something and then all the um, responsibility falls on me to say it didn't happen and this is why it now didn't happen. Gotta tell, now you got to tell the story. Right. You can't be private anymore if you're defending yourself. Right. So with Eminem, that would have to be quite the secretive 30 years of life that unless he got one partner, man or woman, and and then they were so loyal to him and I don't even know, like, could they not even say like... I'm dating Eminem like for 30 years. We didn't ever see. You're all you're making all good points. Yeah. National Glizzy Day. Don't know what that is. Glizzies, hot dogs. Oh. Um, it's from that, a certain place. What? Like Ch- Chicago or something? What? <laughs> is that what they call hot dogs in Chicago? No, it's it's, uh, it's Gen Z slang. Really? Yeah. Glizzy. Yeah. If you eat a lot of hot dogs, you're a glizzy gobbler. Sounds inappropriate. It is often used inappropriately. Oh, okay. But also not. Okay. So, okay. Gotcha. It's it's one of those things. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Hot dogs. How do you feel about hot dogs? I love hot dogs. I like hot dogs disproportionately to, to a disproportional amount of how often I eat them, which is rarely. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's a lot of things that like tacos. I feel like I love eat very proportionately 
to how much I love right. it. Soup, my favorite food. Right. Anyone who followed my my daily food intake would know soup's my favorite food. It's always there. Hot dogs. Wonder why. I would. I don't think. Maybe because it's hard to buy one. You have to yeah. buy the pack. Yeah. And yeah. They, they don't close well. And I and I think the circumstance in which I like them are not. I don't want you know like a hot dog on a roller. Yeah. I'll eat it. But like when you I want think it in a of, paper boat. When I think of like a real good hot dog, it's on a grill and stuff. I was thinking about hot dogs in in certain events, and I was like, we're we're obviously conditioned that the hot dog is at the baseball game and the hot dog is at the fair. Yeah, and um, it's even in the movies in um in Trinidad. Is it done? I here? think uh, here? N- n- at least AMC theaters. Maybe it's to like you know bring people in, but they've really opened up their repertoire of what no, they sell. Really? Yeah. Now they have like it's probably cost an arm and a leg though. Oh. Pff- it's ridiculous. I just went to the movies. I saw Where the Crawdads Sing. Great book. Great great movie. Even better book. <laughs> um, no one's ever said that before. And let me tell you, it's not responsible. It's not financially responsible to go to the movies. I know, but it is financially necessary for them to charge you that. Was there a lot of people in your movie theater? No. Right. So, like, they have to pay for everything. Yeah, but, like, it's something that's, something that's got to give. And I think it's a movie theater. Aww. Sorry. I think it's mm. big box office hits. Yeah. Right now, we are consumed by, by free content. I know. Look at, look, at, look at just TikTok, right? Yeah. You can scroll on TikTok for two hours. Right. Or not even that. Forget about TikTok. Let's look at YouTube. Yeah. Some of these videos now, the production value for the kids especially. Yeah. Like the the Mr. Beast. His production value on his videos are astronomical. Yeah. Uh, it's camera, like the camera work, the 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 plot line, the the cinematography, and it's all done by one person. And so it costs a lot for him, but not nearly as much as these big box office hits. Right. That's like you're trying to bring people in, and mm-hmm. now you're competing with with that. You're competing competing with streaming services. Yeah, it's 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 a lost thing. Yeah, it is. It really is. It's too. It's, it's a, I went to the movies also. Not not um not with you. Nice. I saw Thor. Oh. I saw Thor. Um, it it kind of reminded me of when the Hangover. I don't know how were there like three hangovers. Yeah, you know, by like the by the by the last hangover, it was it just seemed like a bunch of rich people wanted to be in a movie together and yeah. like have fun. It struck me like that. Yeah, there's a lot of famous people in it, and just they all have tiny little parts, yeah. and it's just like, let's do this, and then they're gonna CGI my muscles on, and it's gonna be so great. I it was it was it was fine for what it was because I wasn't expecting to see where the crawl dads sing. I was expecting to see this, and I did. But this doesn't have to do with the cost of the movie, but it was the concessions. So yeah. I was with oh, yeah. concessions. Preston, he wanted, they said they had Doritos. So he said, I'll have Doritos. The girl said, I can't give you Doritos because you would have to pay seven, almost $8, seven something. Because it was meant to be like walking taco it's or something? It's meant to be with the cheese. It's, uh, it's called like, it's called like the, some, you know. It's the, like nachos. But- yeah, special nacho. And it's he's like well, I don't want the cheese and she's like I still have to you would still have to pay she's like I feel she, like I would know that though who goes to the movies and is like like enough Doritos yeah it's like saying can I get just some chips and it's like I I I'm one of I I'm gonna put blame on him for that one no 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 I don't blame him because you forget because you haven't been to the movies that's in like so going, long. that's like going to a frozen yogurt place and saying can I just get gummy bears right. they would so say, just grab those you don't have to pay for them but <laughs> but um but. I give him a break because he he hasn't been in so long. But I was thinking, Dorito, a bag of Doritos is the easiest thing you could have stuck in your pocket before we came yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. But the two things, I haven't been in, a, actually, I was it recently. I went to see the Bob's Burger movie. You're just a movie buff. I went to see the Bob's Burger movie and then he was like, why did you, that's on Hulu. And I'm like, well, it wasn't at the time, number one. Number two, I don't care if something's on TV. I'll still see it in the well, movie theater. And then that's rewind time for this conversation. What's unfortunate about it is, Movies are now financially irresponsible, which is unfortunate mm. because what used to be, you would see the movie, but it's about the experience of mm-hmm. being at the movies. Yeah. Now it's becoming that line of like, it's not even worth it anymore because yeah. it's like this experience of going to the movies, but now I'm paying. You know, imagine you go on a date to the movies. You know how much you're paying? Oh God, a lot. You're paying more than an expensive dinner. Yeah. Hear, hear me out. Hear me out. 
You go see a movie. Uh-huh. Uh, let's say you see it in, in, in IMAX. Mm-hmm. It's $20 a ticket. Yeah. It, it, it may be more. So, so you're taking a girl out. Hey, let's go on a date. A little movie date. Like, it's the 50s. Yeah. Movies, popcorn. All right. 20, 40, you're 40. Already, already. You're f- already, you paid gas to get there. You paid gas. And the gas is killing me. Okay. <laughs> you so paid, you paid gas to you get paid there. You paid $40 for your tickets are even ripped. Yes. You walk in. Little Thang says, are you going to, like, are we going to get popcorn to share? And oh, it's I like, thought that was the person who worked there. That was your date? Yeah, I would hope so. I, I mean, thought it was. <laughs> if you, the, the ticket guy, it's like, give me my tickets back. <laughs> Are you going to get popcorn to share? It's like, sir, you I thought he was a good salesman. No. And you're like, yeah, don't worry, little young thing. Pick anything you want. Pick anything you want. (laughs) She said, I'll have the. I'll get a Slurpee and I'll get some pretzel nuggets. I don't think they're called Slurpees. I think that's 7-Eleven on proprietorship. I'll get an Icy Mm -hmm. and I'll get pretzel nuggets. Yeah. Icy set you back $7. Oh, yeah. But it's a big cup, to be fair to them. Pretzel nuggets set you back 8 Yeah. All right? Yeah. So now you're what? 15 40 or 55 and now you're like okay well i want to get some. i can't like you, you can never not get snacks and she'll feel bad she'll be like yeah oh, oh am i Great. fat like Great. am i just the not just that she would feel like i took all your money yeah. i'm so sorry yeah you have to pretend like it's nothing you didn't, that, that didn't bother and, me and so you're like oh no i'm gonna get a drink and some popcorn another 15 you're at like 70 dollars yeah. walk, walking out no and and this is this is you know a movie this, this is Back in the day, back in the the day, what would you say? Let's go take you out for a dinner and a movie. I spent seventy dollars at the movies. The movies alone. The movies alone in yeah. this economy. Yeah. For what? For what? Pop in a Blu-ray. Sit down. I'll, I'll put some microwave popcorn. Well, in. nobody can afford a house, so maybe it's just the fact that you're renting. Maybe this a couch. is why you're renting an armchair I got, for two hours. Maybe maybe this is why. Eminem doesn't have a girlfriend. He can't go to the movies. It's it's financially irresponsible. You said it. He knows what it's like to be poor. You're right. And so he can't imagine losing his wealth going to the movies with, with young ladies. Listen, that's absolutely true. Mm-hmm. And we I figured hope, it out. I hope the, pe- the the press picks it up. Yeah, Eminem <laughs> says movies are outrageous. Won't date a yeah. girl until something changes. But yeah, so back to my other point. I mean, what the other thing about it is so like now movies. There is no other option besides movie theaters failing. And here's why. There's two ways of going about it. Getting people to pay. People aren't going to pay. Or you're going to need to stop putting so much money into the movies to mm-hmm. lower the tickets. Right. And now, you're like they all this money is trying to compete, you know? Yeah. It's like uh, I, I equate it to like when, when technology is happening, like right. automated, like industrial revolution. It's like. The person keeps having to go faster to keep up with it. Right. And it's like, you'll never be faster than the machine. Right. The machine being uh, short form entertainment. Right. And so it's just like, uh, more money, more money, more money. And it's like, eventually it's going to, it's like with gambling. They're like, eventually you're going to be out. Because cause nobody, and if you do the opposite, you lost. Yeah. Yeah. We were, lost. we were, we were in an empty theater, number one. Number two, a third of the way through, my seatmate was like, do you want to leave? It's boring. Oh, really? Yeah. And I I'm can't like, stand when people say that. We're staying. Yeah. And um, thirdly, uh, you know, they do, off- the, the theaters are trying to offer new um, experiences so that it's like to, to lure you in. Like, oh, yeah. yeah, I can watch TV. Well, you can't watch it on a, on a three-story screen, which would be IMAX. But the problem is you don't, you can't film, you can't show everything on the IMAX screen unless it was filmed with, with an IMAX, IMAX camera. camera which up to the price of the budget of the movie. Yeah. They have to make more money. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what I get for being so demonstrative with yeah. my hands. Yeah, they uh they offer all kinds of things like um subscription like everything's a subscription service now. Who, I know. Whoever like started the game with that of like yeah. the fur is is a genius. Yeah. Because, like, now it's like, yeah, we'll pay this much a month and you can just keep coming to the movies. Yeah, and they don't. <laughs> and they don't. Yeah. I mean, it's a, the, you know, it's probably, I wonder if gyms were an early one for that. Oh, like GYM? GYM. Mm-hmm. Um, not a guy named Jim. Uh, because. I didn't know. You were like, yeah, even like in a, in the business world, you used to buy like Microsoft packages and you would just have the technology. You right. paid oh, one yeah, you, time, mm-hmm. you paid one time $800 or, on like a bigger corporate sense, say you spend twenty thousand right. dollars, 
And it's like you own that technology. Right. Now, now it's, oh, you have to pay us $100 every month. I know. And it's like, okay, like that's that's cheap. It's like, it's very easy to do. Right. Just like, just like that quick form of entertainment. Right. You don't realize after 20 months, right? 20 yeah. months is, is, is what? A year and a half? Yeah. But you're a business. You're, you've already paid what you would have paid. Right. And now everything is just additional. Yeah. Technology is not changing, but you're stuck. It's financial slavery. It is. That's for sure. That's what Netflix is. It is. They're, 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 it's not a car payment. It's not once you pay it off, you pay it off. No, nothing is. Nothing is. It, even even when you buy your phone and it's like, can I have a warranty for this in case it breaks? And it's like, no, but you can pay Apple Pay every single month uh-huh. and it may or may not break. And, and when it does, you still have to pay. I yeah. mean, for people look who a, haven't look a health insurance. broken the phone, you still will have to pay over $100. Even if you're paying Apple Pay. Look at health insurance. More. Health insurance is a crime. Yeah, it is. I right? Mean, yeah. You pay every month. It's like, imagine if you add up how much you're paying a month. Yeah. And then you have a, a bill. And it's like, oh, well, you still have to you still have to uh, pay this um, oh, co- yeah. co-pay. And it's Absolutely. Like, well, uh, where, uh, over the past 10 years, I've, I've given you mm-hmm. tens of thousands of dollars. It's like, well, yeah, but like that goes to everyone. Right. It's like. What what is this? What what is this nonsense? Yeah. Give unto Caesar that is Caesar. Some of that. Give unto. Listen. At least we're not as bad off as our friends in the UK at the moment, because I believe they are being fried in a frying pan from the sun. So are we? No, There's... they're worse than we are. Really? Yeah. They had a, like they had a um they had to ground the planes and stuff for some wow. reason. Wow. I don't know what's happening, but I'm hearing that it's very 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 hot. Yeah. There right now. Don't tell the Republicans that. Why? They don't believe in climate change. Well, then we should tell them. Yeah, but then they'll just say, I don't believe in it. It's so, so silly to me not to believe in climate change. Like, it's one thing, especially back in the Dizze. Yeah. When, when people were like, ah, what are you talking about? It's a hot summer. It's like, I'm a young guy. I'm a fun guy. Just like a mushroom. I have seen this in my lifetime. How is how is it that every summer is record record heat? I know. And like, what is the purpose of denying it? That's my question. My biggest question for for I think because they don't want to put money into it. They want to put money into it. Maybe I have guessed what one word Wednesday is. What complaints? <laughs> I always, anytime I'm complaining on this podcast, I always think of um Peter Griffin. Yeah. In Family Guy. Uh-huh. And like he was just complaining like that. And then he got a whole like special of uh, gr- grind my gears. And oh, he, he got just, a shit special on TV? He's like, you know what really I think grind, I, I think I remember that. You know what really grinds my this gears? Where it is complaints. And so yesterday, were, were you part? Yeah, you did hear me complaining about Wawa and my yeah, yeah. extra crispy potato salad. Extra crispy potato salad, please. <laughs> I bought potato salad, which is supposed to be boiled potatoes with mayonnaise cooled and saladized. And I bought it and they were so crunchy. I took I took one bite and I thought, okay, that was just a bad bite. Crunchy yeah. like a crisp apple. I took another bite of a different pe- – it was crunchy. I said, not only does this taste terrible, but I'm pretty sure you are not supposed to eat raw um, potatoes, right? So I was, I was eating the container of potato salad by my computer. So I looked it up and it said, do not eat raw potatoes. It gives you all sorts of gastrointestinal distress. Not long yeah. term, but you know. So I was so mad. Um, I threw it, like you know, I threw it in the grounds. No, I threw it in the trash. And um, you know, I wawawed. I pulled up Wawa and I wrote. You wrote an email to them. Not an email, but they have a complaint a box. Complaint, complaint box for Wawa. So I said, I just wasted my money on your potato salad. It was completely raw, and um, you're not supposed to eat raw potatoes. Literally, not no sentence structure. Yeah. No anything. Um, and, and all over case. Yeah, no receipt. Yeah. Nothing. And and um. Send. send today it's all automated yeah. five dollar digital gift uh gift card no keep, way yeah five dollar coupon five dollars i'm not going back there i told you i'm about to just start <laughs> spamming them spamming them yeah there was no there was no conversation there was no do you have a receipt there was no you know don't do this don't try to ask us for anything more yeah i just got an email and it said five dollars um quick and planning Here's five dollars, peasant. I know five dollars from the multi-billion-dollar company. Here, no. here, 
Be on your way. Yeah. You should have slapped that five. That You should have electronically slapped that $5 out of their hand. I know. I, I w- if it was in real life, I would have. Mm. The, it is a, It is better like than the old days when they would give you like a piece of paper. Like here, here's here's a coupon. You yeah. know, what are you going to carry your coupon in and be like, I have a coupon. But, um, <laughs> you know, since it's digital. How little are you? <laughs> <laughs> you're, left, you're putting it all out there. <laughs> I have a coupon. Um, Lean over. <laughs> now it's digital you know and they have they have check your own self out so you can just give yourself the five dollars but it's just like you know what boil your potatoes already potatoes are a funny thing you know in the, are they? <laughs> yeah, in, in the different forms you get mad differently like, oh uh, you're right potato you're mad that it was it was hard and crispy yeah it's crispy if i get you know french fries i'll be mad if they're mushy you're right both potatoes you know yeah, or potato chips. Potato chips? I'll be mad if they're not crispy. I'll be mad if they're stale. Right. Well, I think there's no potato that you would like stale. stale. I don't know. Well, what is stale? You know what I mean? Um, I, I'll tell you what's stale. I had Dor- a bag of Doritos, and um, this is the weirdest thing. They tasted fine, but there was one stale chip in the bag. That's gross. What happened? I don't know, but it sounds really <laughs> gross. Is it? Yeah. Like, I imagine it's like a factory thing where that one just, like, slipped in. Like, it just fell off of something yeah. that's been there a while. Unpopular opinion. I like stale chips. Potato chips? But not yeah. Doritos. Doritos are corn uh, my, chips and they're too hard. My favorite stale thing. Mm, making my mouth water just thinking about it. Cheese balls. Oh. Don't they get kind of collapsy when they're stale? Yeah. No, they kind of, like... They don't, they're, they're not as airy. Yeah. So you bite it and it just kind of like right. smushes. Like, right. Yeah. Uh, I love stale. Sometimes I'll just leave the uh, the old cap off. Um, People I know make the peeps stale. Oh, uh, peep, stale peeps. Stale, my, my stale peeps. Yeah. I like my mates stale. You do like chess. Yeah. Oh, it's National Chess Day. No. Yeah. Stalemate. National Chess Day. They've got a whole podcast on chess. Talk about should we play it as religious folk? Because the there's who like did? A, you and I. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if you were here for it. <laughs> I was here for it. I remembered it. Mentally. I thought you were saying someone else did, and yeah, I was like, did. I was gonna say, you know, we did. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, you still play it though. You used to be very um very preoccupied with online chessing. Are you still? Uh, I, I I play every day still probably, but not okay. not. I'm not as crazy about it anymore. I'm just finishing up. Uh, I want to shout out Pennsylvania. The state? Yeah. No, the person. That'd be a nice little name. Call her Pen. That would Penny. be that, that would, not Penny. Penny. No, I would like it for a boy and call him Pen. Pen. Yeah. What what are you saying? It's National Pennsylvania Day. No. Yeah. How did we not lead with that? We know people in Pennsylvania. We're gonna anchor with it. Okay. It's National Pennsylvania Day. If you haven't been, go. If you live here, move. Move? Yeah. Go to see, let other people have space. Yeah, go see the rest of the world. It's getting a little crowded around us. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, that was, um, complaint day. Mm-hmm. No, I'm just kidding. We, we were back. One word Wednesday is complaint day. It's yeah, fine. It's complaint day. We just have, we haven't seen you. We just it's wanted not to. not complaint day. It's one word Wednesday. The word is complaint. I'm about to com- start complaining about you in a second. Uh, it was nice to see you again. <sighs> we're back. We're back, baby. After a little weekend of being gone. So we'll see you tomorrow for walk through Thursday where we will talk. We won't complain. We got it all out. Yeah. The rest on the up and up. Yeah. Peace. Oh,